Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 1st through the 8th. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that my readings are typically love readings, so, you know, that's the way it is. If you aren't looking for love and you, you know, don't watch it. Um, anyway, yeah, this is for the sign of Gemini. You may be chasing the wrong opportunities. You don't need to chase opportunities. Let opportunities chase you. Indecisive about something. You're, you're stuck. You're not sure what to do, whether to stay or go. You're being called to master your emotions at this time. You know, you're the boss of your own life. Nobody else. But there is some sort of blockage here. Something is being blocked. Communication could be being blocked. I'm not sure. This is about finding the strength to move forward. In some situations, this can also signify travel. This is moving, moving somewhere, moving on, or moving forward. Forward movement, put it that way. This Two of Wands reverse, this is a fear of change. There's a lack of self-love. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Somebody doesn't love themselves enough to follow their own path. Discontent, unhappy. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Taurus. We have Cancer. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, stubborn. Stubborn as hell, whether that's you or another person. You could be really focused on your, your money and your, your job at this time. Love really doesn't seem to be at the forefront because there's a lack of self-love here. You may be feeling over overly emotional at this time, withdrawn, or a person that you're dealing with has withdrawn. There's a lack of, of growth in a relationship. There's it's like there's there is there's a lack of growth in a in in, in romance. And I think one of the reasons why there's a lack of growth is because your work is consuming you, okay? That's part of the reason. Another reason is indecisiveness, unable to see the truth of a situation, okay? A lot of indecisiveness. You know, you have to make a choice, you have to make a decision, but you're unsure of how you're going to make this decision. And I think that money is part of the factor, you know, or your career or your job is, is, is causing this indecision. It has to do with money or finances, okay, or stability of some sort. This Two of Swords reversed is uh, a lot of fears, a lot of worry. I mean, we have fear of change, and then we have fear, worry, anxiety. Um, hmm. Yeah, you're really, really focused on your job at this time, Focus it, focused on your money, focused on putting in effort, and I think it's into your own stability. I don't think it's into love. I don't think you're focusing on love at all this week, okay? It's just not at the top of the list. You may be scheduling travel. You could be spending money, you know. you may, Maybe you want to move and you need to come up with the money for that. I don't know what the case is. But there's a lack of um, happiness in... In romance or in a relationship okay it's just not happy it's not content there's there's trouble and you may be chasing the wrong dream okay and, and you don't need to chase okay the, because the Empress reverse is chasing trying to it's like selfishness it's like I want this I want that chasing after opportunities but when the Empress is upright, she is, she's all about love, okay? She's, she's the goddess of love, and, she, and people flock to her to help her because of her beauty, because of her light, okay? Because she, she shines so bright that, that people and opportunities chase her. But because this is verse, reversed, you may be chasing people or chasing opportunities that are going to lead to 
unhappiness or lack of commitment. It's like you you want things to happen fast, and this is this says it as well. I want it to happen now, now. And it's not moving fast. It's not moving. Well, you want it to happen fast, but it's not. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Just saying. I think I already said that, didn't I? Or a water sign. Somebody is doing themselves an injustice by moving too quickly, by not thinking about things before they act. And it could be the person that you're dealing with. There's, a, there's an injustice here. Somebody, and if this is karma, and this is karma. Justice is a karma card. This is a judgment card. They're both labeled karma. I mean, this one's labeled karma, but they're both karma cards. Oh, so there is some karma here for Gemini playing out this week. And what is this karma? It has to do with your past. Somebody is clinging to their past. And it could have to stem back all the way to your childhood. I don't know if there's been some kind of maybe there's a victim mentality here i don't know i don't know i don't know this will not resonate with everybody you could be dealing with somebody that plays that role you know that is manipulative in that way there's always crying and whining and blah 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 that could certainly be the case you could be dealing with somebody who is smothering and it's pushing you away pushing you to focus on your job because you can't deal with them that could be a circumstance i do feel as though you know, this, this judgment card, this is an awakening. This is an epiphany of some sort. This judgment card it is about a wake-up call. There's some sort of secret that is going to be revealed in regards to something you need to let go of. You need to cut out of your life. I'm not sure what this is because this is about cutting something out as well. And this is, this is the secret, a truth that needs to be revealed, that is going to be revealed. And it has to do, it could have to do with your children, or it could have to do with your past, okay? So there's some sort of secret. Could be legal, okay? There could be a legal issue. You're going to court or something over children, and your son, your person has, I was going to say something mean. Your, whoever you're dealing with is lying, and the truth comes out. That could certainly be the case. Okay, could have to do with children. So some of you could be involved in a court battle and somebody is doesn't want to pay their child support or something. And, you know, you need that money. That could certainly be the case. And they want to decrease it. Who knows what the case is. But there could be some child support issues that are not making you happy. Um, but I feel as though if there has been some lies, the truth is justice is going to get served. Okay, You're, the truth is going to come out. So if that's the case for you, just keep in mind that you're probably going to find victory and success in this court battle, and the other person is not, okay? So with Mars retrograde, whoever initiated is the loser. So if your partner partner initiated some sort of court battle, you know, then they will lose. If you initiated it, then I'm sorry. But anyway, um, there is some sort of anxiety over money here about the future security now other people see you as being emotional about this whether it's about your children or about whatever it is other people see that you are very emotional and probably are and maybe you're playing the victim that's how other people see you in this position your your advice is to just tell the truth just tell the truth Okay, whatever this is, just be honest. If your challenge is this King of Pentacles reverse is being greedy, okay? That's your challenge position. The King of Pentacles reverse is greedy. So really, is it about is it about the money or is it about the kids, if that's the case, or is it about happiness? Now, that's just something to consider here. Now, this is connected to your challenge. There's probably some legal issues for, for many of you watching this. Your challenge is... 
really listening. You need to listen to your inner guide. You need to believe in yourself and you need to have faith that everything is going to work out as it should. And you may lack faith at this time, okay? But I feel like whatever this is that's happening is going to is going to be victorious for you if you can just Keep on your path. Keep doing what you've been doing, but don't be greedy. Do not be greedy, whatever you're doing, um, because that, that, that'll cause problems. Um, <clears throat> so in your future, I do see abundance, okay? There's going to be material abundance in your future. So there's really nothing to worry about here. Everything's going to turn out just fine. If, it, if there's a legal issue regarding child support or alimony or money or whatever, it is going to turn out in your favor and you are going to still be abundant financially. Um, now we're talking about love because you know I like love readings. So Now you could even receive some sort of inheritance. I'm not sure, but it appears that there is money coming in from somewhere. Um, and you deserve it. You do deserve it. So whatever this is, you're, you're going to be the victor. That's what it looks like to me. Yes, you are. You are going to be the victor. So whether this is, I think this is, uh, something to do with, with money and maybe a child situation or, or something like that. But it feels like you are going to have victory and success. You are. Your confidence, your poise, your, your, um, well put togetherness, you know, that's, that's really plays a real good part here. All right. Um, you are, I think that somebody is going to see that you are very respectable. I'm not who, she, who this is, but there's a lot of respect for you. Okay. Um, you may have to turn your back on something. Okay. You may, and maybe you just need to focus on now and not really worry about the future. Maybe you just need to focus on right now, getting by, day by day by day. In the future, you are going to be abundant. So there's really nothing to worry about. Now, the basis of your reading is discontent and unhappiness this week. Unhappiness, I think, about either a legal situation or somebody that isn't being honest with you. And you know they're not being honest with you. So there's a lot of unhappiness and discontent. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable. They don't want to pay up. They don't want to do their part. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? And they, it, it, it feels like you're really worried. You're really, really worried about how this is going to play out and what it's going to cost you. But I see as you being victorious and successful in this situation, whatever it is. Now, what about love for Gemini? We want three cards or four cards for love, please. You know, that's the way readings play out. You have to go with whatever. There is going to be an unexpected choice, perhaps. You may you may um, have a reconciliation with someone, or there's some there's something could be going on behind the scenes where you receive a new offer of love, and this is your soulmate. That could certainly be the case. There could be a rekindling as well, a rekindling of love. I'm not sure what this is, but there is some sort of offer of love coming in, and I think it's been transpiring for quite some time. You could be dealing with, we have Pisces, we have Gemini, we have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection, but you have to be aware that something is not all as it seems. This person is not your usual type, whoever this person is. They're not your usual type. And you may be confused because they're not your usual type. But you're going to have to probably let your guard down and try to make some compromises. But I feel like, I don't know if you will, there's lack of compromise, lack of balance, lack of harmony, fears, fears, fear of compromise. Fear of losing money by getting involved with this relationship, what it's going to cost you. Fear of not having having to put effort into it when you've got to focus so much on your job. Fear of losing your focus.
So I believe there could be an opportunity. There could be an opportunity for, for love here, but you have fears of what it will cost you. This right here is extremes, and that would make sense for you, Gemini. Duality, okay? There's extremes here. Reluctant. Reluctant to love. Also, this is a card of patience, reverse, and this is a card of patience is needed. You need to be patient. Get to know this person, whoever it is. See what happens. Just because they, they may not seem like your usual type doesn't mean that it won't work out. I think there's an opportunity for love here with somebody that isn't your usual type. They don't look like your usual type or anything like that. And I think that you're really scared because you're like, whoa, where the hell did this come from? This is a mystery to me. It's a mystery. So you may be reluctant and you're being called to have patience with this person and get to know them. Love yields. Love yields, if you will let it. You gotta not be so stubborn and hard-headed. You gotta be able to let somebody in. Maybe somebody is coming into your life to help you heal from a situation that has caused a, lot, a lack of peace and harmony in your life. And I see that you're reluctant, but this person is gonna bring relief because this is relief reversed. But there's a lot of fears, fear of the unknown. Lack of inner abundance, lack of self-worth, fear of losing money, fear of what it's going to cost you if you get in this relationship, fear fear if you let this person into your life, what's it going to cost me? I mean, I have to work. What's it going to cost me? You know, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's really not. This could, whoever this person is, could definitely, this person comes in. And they and they they are unexpected, but when you look in your their eyes, it's going to be almost undeniable. So you're probably going to give them a chance, and it's going to mess up your singlehood. It's going to make it mess up your single abundance. You know all the work that you've done. Not that that's going to go away, but it's going to change your life. Because this is a union. This is a single woman. It's reversed. I think that you will probably there's an opportunity to no longer be single. But I see that you're reluctant to combine and part of the reluctance has to do with money and giving up your singlehood your independence there is absolutely an opportunity for a beautiful soulmate connection here I'm telling you what There's a lot of attraction. Look at it. There's a lot of attraction going on here. The choice is yours whether you accept it or not. You need to let your guard down. And don't worry about what it's going to cost you one day at a time. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Remember I said there's a lack of self-love? I said that. This person is probably going to come after you. You aren't going to have to chase this person. This person is going to come after you. You deserve love. You are lovable. If you chase this person, it's not the one. This person is going to chase you. That message just came into my head. You are lovable. You are lovable. Don't forget it. Oh my gosh. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. There's an opportunity, Gemini, with a soulmate for us. I know there is. I mean, come on now. The lover's card, the two of cups, it, it is. It's a soulmate connection. Don't pass it up just because you have fears of what it's going to cost you. It ain't going to cost you nothing but your heart. 
And this person is true. They have a genuine offer of love for you. So anyway, Gemini, that is what I have for the first week of July. It looks really, really, really good for you.